Technology is amazing. It can help us with everything, from the smallest inventions to the largest projects. So today, let's look at some of the most amazing mega builds of the future to see how far humans have come with the help of technology and what they are looking to do in the future. But before you watch the video, be sure to hit the bell button for more related material and subscribe to the channel. Let's start the video. Pangeos is a turtle-shaped floating city swimming into Saudi. The Tereach will be the biggest floating structure in the world. Saudi Arabia is hopefully getting a turtle-shaped floating city called Pangeos. Get ready for the major under-the-sea vibes. The $5 billion Tereach will be the largest floating structure ever built, and it will be capable of holding 60,000 people. Pangeos is designed by Italian design studio La Serini and gets its name from Pangea, the supercontinent during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. Pangeos will effectively be a yacht city with it measuring 610 meters at its widest point. That is one supersized turtle. The turtle-shaped yacht will have villas, shopping, and even a beach club. The one-of-a-kind floating city will have 19 villas and 64 apartments located on each turtle foot. You'll be able to enjoy a rooftop garden and even a mall. The city will consist of nine bows each divided into various blocks beginning at the entrance of the port, leading to the main area that will further extend into the terrace villas, paving way to the private houses, buildings, and rooftop terraces. It will also house an upper turtle shell zone acting as a landing base for flying vehicles. The future is definitely here. Are you ready to dive in? Pangeos thankfully isn't moving at a tortoise pace. It is estimated that the mega project will be completed within eight years. Egypt and its new capital. Egypt and its capital, Cairo, are experiencing rapid population growth. It is expected that in about 10 years, the population will double. Therefore, the government of Egypt is looking for ways to maintain its capital. Due to Cairo reaching its construction limit, the government of Egypt is now creating a new capital in the country's suburbs. As of now, the government is planning to construct government offices and green spaces. However, the new capital will also include an ambitious project like Africa's tallest skyscraper, which will be named the Iconic Tower, quite literally. As of now, there is no name assigned to the new city. However, the project is estimated to have a budget of $40 billion. Now it's interesting to see a country creating capital for itself. However, it is not a new phenomenon. The government of Pakistan also built a new capital named Islamabad for many reasons. It's the only planned city in the country. Airport Terminal in New York New York is a busy city. Therefore, JFK Airport is also flooded with flights left, right, and center. Therefore, it is getting a new upgrade of about $9.5 billion. The project has one clear ambition in mind. The government wants to make JFK Airport the most desirable airport on the planet. Therefore, making it easier for people to come directly to New York. Well, let's see where this project heads in the future. But as of now, it looks like we're going to board our flight to JFK. Forest City The Forest City is often quoted as Malaysia's answer to Singapore, but we would like to term it Malaysia's answer to climate change. The project has been designed in a way that is friendly to the environment. The Forest City features an integrated vertical greenery infrastructure that is one of its own kind. The most intriguing thing about this project is that the traffic within the city will be underground, and the rest of the city will be covered by greenery, hence the name Forest City. Although the project has faced several problems, like the pandemic that caused a halt in the funding, one cannot shy away from the fact that this project is a great start to environment-friendly real estate projects. Once completed by 2035, it will provide the necessary impetus for other countries to engage in such green projects that benefit both humans and the environment. Padma Bridge Bangladesh is at severe risk of multiple floods due to its low water levels. The country's economy suffers greatly whenever unprecedented floods flood the country's main areas. On top of this, climate change in South Asia is also not making it easy for countries like Bangladesh to sustain. Therefore, Bangladesh started an ambitious project named the Padma Bridge. The bridge is designed in such a way that it will connect the capital of Bangladesh with the southern parts of the country. At first, international bodies like the IMF and the World Bank funded the project. However, due to some corruption allegations, the funding was halted. But due to its sheer importance, Bangladesh decided to complete the project with its own funding. The Hedam Dam China has a booming population of 1.4 billion people. 
Now, with that many people, you also need to have a good system to ensure that everyone gets basic facilities like food and water. However, with the growing water crisis worldwide, it is hard to do that. Therefore, China is working on a number of hydropower projects, including the Beihadam Dam. The project is estimated to have a capacity of 16,000 megawatts. The most interesting thing about this project is that it has eight times the capacity of the Hoover Dam in the United States. Therefore, if the project is executed as planned, it will cater to the rising population and its demands in China. The project has an estimated cost of $34 billion. That is quite a lot of money. Let's hope China is able to pull this project off. Jeddah Economic City Saudi Arabia has come up with its version of 2030. Basically, they want to get rid of their dependence on oil to run the economy. As a country whose economy is run by oil, that is an ambitious goal to have. To follow suit, Jeddah's economic city has been built to boost the economic growth of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is also looking to build the city's largest skyscraper in the world. Let's see where this project lands in the future. As of now, it is looking quite good. Merdeka Tower The Merdeka Tower is one of the most ambitious mega builders of the future. Malaysia is trying to build the tallest skyscraper in the world. Although there are other projects that can be classified as the tallest skyscrapers in the world. However, this tower will be completed before projects like the Jeddah Economic City skyscraper. And according to the experts, this skyscraper might be one of the last of its kind. It is because America is not planning to build a scraper that will come close to the side. On the other hand, China has also found skyscrapers that exceed the height of 500 meters. So we're just waiting to see this project come to life in the near future. Moscow International Business Hub The Moscow International Business Center has had a bumpy ride. Because of the construction, which began in 1995, however, the project could not go forward due to financial reasons. But for several reasons, the Russian government started its process again in 2019. The project is estimated to accommodate around 300,000 people. The International Business Hub will also have several high-rise skyscrapers that will contribute to the economic growth of Russia. Although, due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis, the process may be slow on the project, Russia is determined to complete it to provide people with more economic opportunities. New Clark City All right, this is the most interesting mega-project of the future in our list. The current capital of the Philippines is under threat, mainly because it comes within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Hence, the capital is prone to more earthquakes, and it doesn't stop it. The tall volcano is also expected to erupt in the near future putting the Philippines' capital at a huge risk of evacuation. Hence, the Philippines plans to build a new capital called Clark City. As of now, the project is expected to be bigger than Manhattan. However, the current plan only includes official buildings, economic zones, and residential areas. CPEC CPEC, which stands for the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, is an interesting project between China and Pakistan. We all know how China is rising to be a superpower and to do that, it needs money. Hence, China is investing in countries like Pakistan to increase their economic growth. One such project in China is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. It is meant to provide China with the infrastructure that will make trade easier for the country. As for Pakistan, it is a great opportunity to boost its crumbling economy. Since Pakistan lies in a strategically important region, China needs it to reach other countries for trade. The project is still underway despite several halts. Only time will tell how the project turns out for China and Pakistan. Alright guys, that is all from today's video. Let us know in the comments if you know about any such project, and we might make part 2 of this video. Until then, stay luxurious, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And before you go, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a video. See you all in the next video. Bye.